Jones and Henry Bullsell for Billy Davis Ranch. Uh, he's the, uh, the descendant of Jim Coleman with the uh, conviction and the desire to keep going forward with what his dad has started. I'm really an honor to have him here today to, to speak, upon, speak on behalf of his father and his brothers and sisters uh, and invite you here. Let's give Tim a nice rich welcome. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> well, on behalf of the Cohen family, uh, we're excited to have everyone here today. We've just been blessed with some beautiful weather. We finally broke some 90 degrees, and it looks like uh, fall is upon us. And uh, we appreciate everybody uh, traveling across the country here to be here for this uh, special event that's always been special for mom, dad, and uh, I know dad's watching. And uh, he always looks forward to the sale, for the visit with everyone. And I just want to let you know that he's in good spirits. He loves to see the family come around, the grandkids, and uh, we really uh, wish he was out here today, but he's here uh, watching us. And so I uh, just want to let everyone know there's been, uh, how Dad's doing, he's doing good. He's doing, doing really good, and we're uh, excited uh, that he's here. And uh, so the, uh, we're here. You know, 48 years ago, my dad had an interest. And that interest quickly turned into a passion. And that passion then married up with his experience with the winery and really our family's attitude and values of constantly pursuing excellence. Complacency is death. So that's been values that we've instilled in our team what you see out here today has been a work of just generations, and Dad has always pushed on the leader in the industry, reaching out across other breeders, and look at what we've been able to do in the Angus breed, CAV, dominant, second from none. And it's all because he's always looking to improve the genetics, and to do that, it's really been, uh, you know, the leadership and vision. And one of the things I just want to make a note on is when I was younger, we showed, you know, Reno and Denver and, and we would show, and we, but yeah, I was always focused on carcass, genetics, quality, and he stuck with that. And that's how Dad was. Yes, I mean, he's just very focused, doesn't get distracted. And one of the accomplishments, milestones, and Catherine shared this with me when she got back from my junior nationals. She says, Dad was so happy. He said, he just, because she told Dad, he says, you had a heifer that went through this show ring last year. It was grand champion in the PGS show in Madison, Wisconsin. That is his ultimate goal. Ultimate, I mean, one of the several goals that there would be able to win win in our bull sale that we had last month that was uh, average over $11,000 a bull, but also in the show we're gonna be able to marry the genetics, the phenotype, and everything on that. And so, uh, Kathy, yeah, appreciate you sharing that with me, and uh, that, that's one of the things that, uh, another milestone that uh, of Dad's achievement. So, obviously, it takes a team, and, uh, Dad's uh, developed an excellent relationship and galvanized, you know, the leadership and, and what this uh, Ben James program has been able to do. And that's because of Doug Worthington and his team and his relationship to be able to get out and visit with you and stay on top of what's going on in this career and bring the best genetics back here to Ben James to keep us on the forefront of the Angus breed. So I appreciate Doug, his team, and all they do uh, to keep us uh, keep us out front in the industry and be the leader in the industry uh, in, in Angus Creed. So I'd like to recognize uh, my wife Kara and Tyler. They, uh, they're out there dating with the uh, cattle and uh, Catherine. That's uh, you know, at Oklahoma State, she's uh, started a master's program in uh, agriculture with emphasis in marketing. And so we're uh, proud of her and her endeavors and all the accomplishments she's done and uh, continues to do. 
Uh, my sister Joan, uh, her husband Rich, her daughter uh, Jessica, we got Jeffrey uh, and his family here, and and the most special person of all is Mary, who's like a sister of my mother. You know, it's been 62 years. And it's really been a glue that's helped keep us all together, and it's just been uh, there for Dad, and he continues to be there. Uh, weekly, so Mary, we appreciate all you do. So, thank you. <laughs> Lastly, uh, really want to give our thoughts and prayers out to our fellow breeders, ranchers in the southeast that were uh, devastated with the two hurricanes. We pray for their speedy recovery, uh, and hopefully they get back on their feet. And anything we can do for them. You know, let's, let's look to the way to help us uh, get them back on track, as well as the ones in the fires in Wyoming, you know, that devastation out there. So for fellow, fellow breeders, we pray our hearts go out to them. With that, I appreciate everybody being here, and I look forward to the great sale. And just to let you know, there's some really good PBS uh, prospects that I'll be going through here, an opportunity that you can be, you know, in that uh, banner uh, junior national next year. So. Pay attention to those uh, heifers coming through here. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jim. And thank you for